Hello everyone, my name is Yu Yu Yan and welcome back to Blue Monsters. This is episode 2 of the series, so let's jump right in. So we also got the Adagus, these are, no well, Max's revives, what else are you supposed to call it? And I did look at the type charts as well, so... I know it's coming, don't mind the proper thing. Uh, now I'm not going to connect to Facebook, because I already have an account. So I was just going to put this guy and save it as it is. Also your card, you get to change your card style and all that. So obviously with your farms you get maximum 20. And let's just go straight to the new air, which is the Forest South. So let's jump right into it. So we've got our first encounter with this new rival basically in the game. Hey you over there. Who do you think you are crossing my territory? Okay, Yogan. Hello, I'm just passing by. Like hell you are. You step on my land and I make you pay. But I need to get through here to get to the eastern end. Eh? Eastern end? Why go to that such a dangerous place? My grandpa tells me that the crystal goddess is there. I need to find her. Your grandpa must be a seen out of coot. Is coot a word? <laughs> anyway. There's much there's no such thing as the crystal as the crystal goddess. Don't say that about him. He's a, he's the sleepy village elder, and he would never lie to me. According to the village legend, the crystal goddess does exist. I'll find her and prove you wrong. The village elder, huh? Said that Say, is his name Edgar? Yeah, and I'm his grandson. My name is Ian. <laughs> so you're his grandson. No wonder you look like him. I'm Yogan. How old are you, kid? Uh, I'm not. I'm nude. Not? I'm. Oh, it's Nord. Ugh. I'm not a kid. I'm 13. I'm becoming a blue monster trainer when I turn 13. I'm 17 now. Let's stop, see if you as good as I was when I was 13. I haven't seen that old cute in years. You should come by my house sometime. Didn't you just say you would sh you'd kill me if I was on your land? We could talk about your you and your grandpa. But... No? If... No ifs and or no buts about it. Come over to my place and you're gonna tell me about your journey. I don't like him. I know, I know exactly what's gonna happen. You see this thing? This thing right here. It's not much, but it's home. Yogan, your pets look pretty sad. She's huddling in the corner, and it looks like she's crying. Ah, that's Ruby. She's always moping around. The lazy git. She doesn't want to participate. Practice. Speaking of, it's time for training. We need to play hard if we're gonna if we want to win the world championship. You have heard of the World Championship? No. <laughs> Short answer. No. It's where we compete against the world's strongest and best blue monster trainers. Whoever wins becomes famous. You, you become the world champion. It's held each year at Golden Wave Arena. Go inside and make yourself comfortable. I'll take. I'll talk to you some more when I'm finished here. Logan takes a comb from his bag and begins to comb oh comb I can't read for shit um, combs his hair he then dusts off his shirt gotta look nice before we practice okay everyone get ready on my count we'll begin to practice Logan should train him he shouldn't train him now his pets look really tired and they look like they're about to collapse but we just came back from the practice in the woods. Stop your complaining. We'll never win the world championship if we slack off. Come on, get off your lazy butts. Jürgen makes his way over to Duris and begins training. The other pets stand around and watch looking exhausted and ill. Only Ruby is putting her full 
effort into training, but tears began to drop down her cheeks. How dare you start yawning? No yawning, no slacking. That especially means you, Ruby. Yeah, I'm not going to read this now more because it's going to make me feel sad. <laughs> I'm sorry, Master. I, I don't know. How about you stop crying and start practicing? Ruby, show me some of those attacks we've worked on. Okay. So attempt a flame attack. It's a fucking water attack, isn't it? Yeah, I can't. Duras, aka Duke. Okay, mate, just stop. I'm, I'm not going to skip the text, sorry, I just can't read this. He's basically an animal. Yoga's basically an animal abuser. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's a three on two. This first monster should be easy. Will he go? Uh, bubble raid. Hopefully. Come on, Willy. Okay, it's only 37. Okay, you only screech, so it's not that bad. Use water gun. Pulse eye. Alright, I'm gonna switch Willy out for Cobra because I believe Cobra's really an evil type. And yes, that is actually their confirmed name. Yes. Spirit Surge. And you'll also get the heal for it as well. And that's another kill. Nest is now is Durist. Now we just use Mind Blast to win. Boom. KO. I would say it was a no damage win, but I just took damage then. So. Hey, it's easy for me. All right, done and dusted. After the battle, I I lost. I can't believe this. There is lost. Treat your pets with respect and they will become the champions. No, I'm not wrong. Okay. Let's go save a douchebag. But we've also got to do some quests today. Also we've got the achievement of discovering. So you get achievements every time you discover or capture a new monster. What is our quest anyway? Okay, defeat and beat. Let's just defeat them. Continue moving. It's an old monster anyway, Raccoon. What a gun. One shot here. Yeah, the highest level here will be five. I hate Sand Strike as a move. It shouldn't exist. Conditions don't Bitter Pillar is actually really good. Especially for our next area. And you learn Spark as well so you can deal with normal monsters. Because I believe the bee is a normal monster, isn't it? Yeah, where are you? you still raccoons there? Eh? Yeah, you're still the raccoons. Okay, this twerp. What, are you, what is he going to send out? He's got a full team of six. But is this guy just got all these? If so, they're all they're all only known swiftness. Can we use that and do more damage? Ooh. Yes, good. Oh, this guy's only got any of them. There's no trance as well, which annoying. I don't know why I just, I don't know why I clicked that. They gain zero health because, you know, we, didn't, we haven't lost any. Dash. 
Uh, uh, can we have a quick bite in the sandwich? There's another one. Got it in those trance as well. Spam Spark. Cobra's going to gain a level or two here in this fight. Because as you can see, we're not really, you know, leveling up during the fight. We'll level up after it all, after the entire fight's done. I mean, you could probably guess that it's a pain in the arse. Finally, one actually attacks. But it did fuck all. Spark again. I'm guessing you all have one move. And it's all one psychic. And, it's, and they always just seem to be a continuous cycle move and dash. Dash is why I use, not what they've got. Mind blasting. <laughs> Well, I'm sorry I've not been recording a lot as of recently. I've obviously been doing work and all that. I've just been chilling. So I do apologize. Hey, yeah, that's a bit bug. Good to put Oh shit. Will he go? Ah, that didn't fuck all. He's bubble ray, buddy. Alright, done and sorted. Got 225. What's Cobra gonna get? 2000. <laughs> uh, two. Three. He's learning Psycho Shield. Eh, yeah, we'll get rid of Mind Blast. Have a bit of a diverse room set. So Cobra's sorted for the next few levels. <laughs> Almost level 14. Uh, there it is. Here's the beach. Where did he go? Yeah, uh, water gun. One shot. Normal's weak to like the obviously the main types you encounter in this game. Well, it's weak to. That was literally at the start of the goddamn area. I'm just gonna get this chest as well. We got 15 wind balls. All right. All right. We can for the raccoon. Let's do this quickly. Bubble raid. How does that not one shot? Also, fuck you. I'm surprised these raccoons aren't just actually, what's it, evil type. So there's obviously water, fire, ice, wind, earth, and then types. Then you got electric, uh, what's it? Electric, evil, mind, dragon, legendary. And I believe that's it. All right, we've got to take out the caterpie line and the beedrill line. Let's fucking do this. I know, I know literally soon we are going to catch a bitter pillar. The only reason I'm not doing the quest now is just to get all the, the you know, story continuing. It's just so I can get the quest out of the way. So I'm going to do all the quests in the area, then I will backtrack to the, do the story. Do the story. I'm, why did I start when I was saying that originally? Alright, the bubble raid. If this doesn't kill it, I'll be able to attack it. Okay, even if it's a crit, I won't kill it. That's good. 
That gives me hope to catch it. What was them? Mm. Sorry, I'm still eating. And that's quest complete. Done and dusted. Next quest. Yep, capture one. Alright, let's capture this bastard. Because it is going to be... I could just... Ooh, the fuck? Oh god, I'm so frightened. Oh, oh god, I'm shitting myself. Okay, 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 Willie, this is funny. You can leave now, Willie. Willie? Willie, you can leave now. Willie? I'm actually gonna have to... I'm gonna have to kill it, aren't I? Fuck it, all right. That did fuck all. Yeah, let's go to Cobra and she spark. You know, may as well get it to the next level, right? Just pops. Yes, yeah, as you see, Cobra only got 26, what's it, XP, so, the higher you get in the stage. Uh, the higher you get, the obviously harder it is to, you know, gain XP in low level areas. Bubble Raid! Alright, now we're going to use one of the type effective balls. With a 76% catch rate compared to 25%, it's always best to use the type advantage or to capture the monster you want. I saw that and, it go. and Billy's and Willie's dead. All right, but he's not dead because I've still got recovery. One, two. It just had to kill Willie just before it got caught in it, and also they. Re and catch him there at full HP. Now as you can see where he's dead. Normally if it's dead and you don't have revivals, revives like I've just got, you have to go back to the thing. But because obviously you've got revives, I'll just use that and bring back Willie. Now we've got to win what's it? I know what I know what my next monster is gonna be. So we've got to win two fights now so hey look <laughs> It's the monster we might be catching next. Froggy. Stay froggy. Uh, arrow blast. Oh, that is a powerful move. I forgot these frogs take the piss. Can you run? Bye. <laughs> and I do have potions as well, so I can just, you know, heal up. The potions that I obviously connect you to first is the ones where it's an instant full recovery. Alright, bandit. That should be good for a blister bug. Blister pillar. Arrow blast. Arrow blast is a really good move. Especially for something like this. Because it has a type of answer to against itself, basically. Is it going to get level up? Yes, it is. Alright. And it's not trance as well, so... You've just seen trance itself. It's very good for bulk. Let's beat this little girl so we can get access to the gym later. So three on three as well. I'm the end of this thing, I fucking hate it. That's fucking fair. One shot. Two shots. Get missed. Alright. I don't know why, but I love Robotella. 
rubber to tire, tire, whatever the fuck tire set. I love it to bits. Especially it's evolution. You probably, probably say in the comments, if you do comment, you're just spamming error blast. Non spamming mind blast because it's super effective. One fucking HP but it didn't seem to hold me. It got a crit, but that's about it. Mind blast. Blister pillar just didn't switch at all. 2000 XP. Yeah, all monsters in this game, by the way, evolve at level 20 if they do have an evolution. Uh, the question is, I'm going go for attacking speed on this guy. The reason why is because if middle stage evolution is weird, it's going like Katakai, basically. It does, obviously, attack and defense, attack and speed. When it evolves into Metapod, it loses the attack and speed for defense, and then when it evolves into Butterfree, it gains its Obviously, attacking speed. If that sounded complicated, it probably was. <laughs> okay, I've had to defeat a toad. Oh, After fighting this, you get my reward. This video might be a bit longer than that. I don't get a roll on this, but whatever. Do that, whatever, the boy. Really, so it gets the level up, and then we are going to take on the bitch that is a bitch. Go, what a gun! One shot, one shot. I'm going to do a level. Oh, excuse me. Oh, excuse me again. We go to encounter the bee or bot. Oh no, we got encountered the pillar. That's actually right. Then we just arrow blade it. <laughs> or arrow blade it. I don't know if I keep saying it called an arrow. Hmm. So we gotta travel down to where we encountered it. The first one we found. I didn't see fight because it's obviously still going to be there. Now we got a type advantage on every side of my team. I'm not going to lie, this is pretty good. Nice. Alright, let's continue, Billy. Really. Come on. Do, 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 do. You guys probably can't hear me, so I'll have to, you know, turn down the music and everything. I remember you. You're a bastard. Good, Blitter Bug. Blitter Pillar. He's Aero Blast. I don't like this thing. I really don't. The Wiz Kid. It's just the tree that's psychic. Hmm. Okay. Now let's get the chest here while I'm at it. Alright. Are you going to be the toad? No, you are not. Aeroblade. Aeroblade again, because it's only going to keep using three points first time. Yeah. Almost a level up. I think we're gonna encounter this, go about it, and then fight it. Please say it's still gonna, please say it'll actually respawn there because we do need another one. Oh, 
that's the problem with this. Once you, once you do get a good start, it then starts to slow down pretty quickly. Because something could probably take out your monsters in one hit. And you need to rely on leveling up just so you can gain back your power points. Hey, we found him! Let's go, Froggy! Let's use Spirit Search. Because that does a fuck ton of damage. <laughs> Using Trance now. Spirit Search, yes. Ugh, the heels. So lovely. Alright, we get to see the Froggy. But we have to catch one soon. We say we do because I would love to catch a Froggy. Stay Froggy. Alright. We also got a cure of potions. Cure status conditions. I gotta defeat a raccoon again. What a gun. Sixty-five critical hit. Nice. I hope you guys do actually like this series so far because I do love playing this game actually. Hey, okay. I have to defeat two. Are you kidding me? <laughs> but yeah, I do hope you guys actually do enjoy this series because it is fun for me to record. It brings back a lot of my memories. And uh, who knows, I might actually get some people to actually play with me. Because this game does be deserved, should be deserved to play by everyone. Because it is made literally for anyone. Only kids, but, you know, adults can play it. I'm playing it. Like when people say, oh, adults can't play Pokemon. Yeah, they can. They can. They have enough money to buy a game. To buy a game of it. One of the games. Alright, we've got to defeat a fucking... Robertillion. Whatever its fucking name is. Either way, it's probably going to be the end of today's episode. Because we got to go find it. Go, Aeroblade. Feelings every time you compare me with Duras. I might not be smart as Duras, and I may not, and I know how much you want to be in the championship, but I've always done it my best. Really, I'm sorry. It's fine. I'm sorry, Master, but I, I've decided to leave you. Why does this sound like, why does it sound like two couples arguing? The guy apologizes to go and then have a talk with them, like have a coffee or something. But the woman's like, sorry, I'm gonna leave you. I want to visit my birthplace, Ampuvis, Ampophis Mountain. I guess I deserve it for being such a jerk. Yeah, and thanks. If we haven't battled, I've never noticed how bad of a blue the loop. I know it's, I know it's blue, but. It's so hard to see. Bye. 
Okay. Yes, I'll be fine. Why are you going with this? Did you travel to get to Apollius Mountain? Really? You do that? Thank you so much. Ruby's joined the party. Out of this entire mission, we got a ruby. Another water type. So that's the next place we gotta go to. And we got a level 9 ruby. I remember this thing. I remember this. I remember it's decent. But how decent? We will, we will see. Because all I know is it's meant to be a massive defensive wall. That's literally its one trait. And I can uh, also, you can go to the shop as well and you know, buy monsters. And I probably will do that to one that I want, that I can that I will need later on. But some of these you can get like in the game itself, so I won't buy them that I don't need. Anyway, let's go home because that is it for today's episode. And that was another advert, so I'm going to have to edit that out of the video. <laughs> Yay, that makes my life a little bit easier, I guess. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this. No. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Actually, quickly before we go, let's have a look at the monsters we obtained. So we've got Bitter Pillar, as you know, we've seen it. Wizkid. Puppeteer T. We have Robert T. Lee. One of my favourite ones. And we've got Bumblebee. Or Bumblebee. We have Froggy. We have Bandit. We have Duke, which is his actual name, not Duris. We have Horace Eye. We have Raccoon. We have Thunder Pie. And we actually have Purdrop, which is actually... Well, Ruby. Because there's actually different variants. And obviously you can see evolution, skills and everything like that. Anyway, let's keep scrolling down. If we've got any more to look at. We probably don't, but you know, who knows. Yeah, bear in mind there's like over 500 monsters in this game. 574 and we cover them all so thank you guys so much for watching this episode leave a like comment subscribe tell me if you do actually comment what is your favorite part of the video and what kind of monsters you do want me to kind of capture if you have any suggestions in the comment section because you guys can obviously go look at it on wikipedia or whatever anyway thank you guys so much for watching this is yugi yan signing out